Assalamualaikum and hi everyone So for today's video, we are going to learn Probability Lecture 1 of 3 Part 1 So the learning outcomes for this topic is At the end of this topic, students should be able to Define the concept of experiments, outcomes, events, sample space and random selection And you should also uh, be able to find the probability of an event and apply the basic laws of probability As an introduction uh, Suppose there are a black shirt, a blue shirt and a red shirt So what is the chance of choosing a black shirt? Okay, so Kebarangkalian untuk kita dapat a black shirt adalah 1 over 3 So, satu black shirt out of 3 shirt that we have so this is known as a probability Which is how likely something is to happen So probability tu adalah kebarangkalian So di sekeliling kita pun Selalu kita akan jumpa kebarangkalian By definition Experiments are an action or process That leads to several possible outcomes So bila ada eksperimen, adalah result Okay, an outcomes of an experiment is an observation or measurement from the implementation of the experiment. So, the possible outcomes of a random experiment are called the basic outcomes. Jadi, outcomes ni adalah result daripada kita punya experiment. Okay, a sample space denoted as S for an experiment is the set of all possible outcomes of the experiment ok such that each outcome correspond to exactly one element in S so the element of S are called sample points so kita tengok dalam table untuk mudah kita faham term-term ini so contoh eksperimen adalah when we tossing a coin so kita uh, lambung shilling ataupun kita rolling a die baling dadu so when we toss a coin the outcomes is whether we have head or tail ok kepala ataupun echo so the sample space kita letak dalam bracket this curly bracket so kita tulis head tail ataupun paling simple kita akan tulis HT lah selepas ni ok so bila kita roll a die Kita ada 6 possible outcomes which is number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, the sample space kita letak dalam bracket. So, tulis kita punya outcomes. So, each element dalam sample space ni, kita panggil dia sample point. Okay, random selection is defined as chosen by chance or in other words without thinking or deciding in advance what is going to happen so in statistical term we say an element is random selection if every element concerned has the same opportunity of being selected so contohnya dia adalah pilihan secara rawak lah next an event is a collection of one or more possible outcomes from an experiment. In other words, an, an event is a subset of the sample space. And all events make up the sample space. Okay, simple event is an event that includes only one and only one of the outcomes for an experiment. For example, when we roll a die, Dia ada 6 possible simple event okay, A compound event is a collection of more than one outcome for an experiment So for example an experiment of tossing a coin twice okay, Let A be the event to get at least a head So this is event A Event to get at least a head So means that the event A is given by Okay sama ada Dua-dua kali kita tos tu kita akan dapat head head Or head tail or tail head Okay so because event A contain more than one outcomes 
So result dia ada lebih daripada satu. So it is a compound event. Example one, if a die is rolled once, so kita ada dadu, kita baling. So the event of getting even numbers is two four six, and then two four six is a subset of the sample space. So the sample space maksudnya uh, kita punya dadu tu dia ada six possible outcomes. So the number of sample space is six. Okay, basic counting principle. In order to get the outcomes of an experiment, so we use the basic counting principle. Okay, if an experiment consists of three steps, and if the first step can result in m outcomes, then the second step is in n outcomes, and the third step is k outcomes. Then the total outcome for the experiment is m times n times k. So, apa yang dikatakan 3 step tu adalah contohnya bila kita baling shilling 3 kali. Okay. So, yang pertama tu dia akan ada M outcomes lah which is 2. Okay. And the second outcomes 2 juga and the third outcome is 2. Uh, that is if we uh, flip the coin 3 times. So, kat sini dia dah bagi example. Okay, find the number of outcomes when rolling a coin and a dice together. So, kita nak nampak, kita nak dia punya number of outcomes. Okay. So, uh, the number of outcomes when rolling a coin. Okay, bila kita roll a coin, kita akan ada dua outcomes which is sama ada head ataupun tail. Okay, so when we roll a dice kita akan ada 6 outcomes sebab dia ada numbers daripada 1 sampai 6 jadi the total outcomes adalah kita akan darab dua-dua outcomes ni so you have 12 outcomes when you roll a coin and a dice together Okay, sample space. The order in which sample points are listed in sample space is of no concern. Okay, in order to get the sample space, we can use three methods. Whether we can use tree diagram, graph or Venn diagram. Example three. Okay, two different coins are toes. And the result H or T for each coin is observed. So, we want to determine the sample space. Okay, solution by using tree diagram. So, this is the tree diagram. So, bila kita toast coin tu dua kali. Uh, bukan dua kali yang ni. Two different coins. So, ada dua coins dan kita baling. Okay, so the first coin. Sama ada kita akan dapat head or tail. So, dekat hujung branch ni, kita tulis dia punya outcomes. Okay, untuk the second coin pun, kita akan ada head or tail. So, this is the outcomes when we toast a second coin. Okay, kat hujung ni adalah dia punya sample point. Okay, and then kalau you, bila kita dah masuk find a probability nanti, sebelah sample point ni, kita akan tulis dia punya probability. Okay. So, probability kita akan tulis di atas branch. Contohnya awak ada, this one 1 per 2. So, the probability kita tulis dekat tengah-tengah ni. Okay, sample space yang kita dapat bila kita toast two different coins adalah sama ada HH, HT, TH or TT. Okay, note here, to find the probability, you must multiply along the branch and add between branch. So, nanti kita akan belajar how to find the probability for the tree diagram. So, untuk this one, maksud dia you must multiply along the branch adalah Okay, untuk dapatkan HH, kita akan darab probability 1 per 2 dan juga sini pun 1 per 2. So, means that 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 and we can get 1 over 4. Okay. 
So kita akan belajar ni kemudian Ok satu lagi cara Untuk kita find the Determine the sample space Adalah by using graph So this is coin 1 And this is coin 2 So from here Kita boleh nampak yang kita akan ada Empat uh, possible Outcome kita punya sample space Which is uh, TH TH H H HT or TT So kita akan dapat jawapan yang sama lah Sama ada using tree diagram Or using graph Next kita akan tengok Venn diagram For example Consider the experiment of tossing a dice So bila kita baring dadu So this is the Venn diagram So S ni represent sample space E tu adalah event Jadi, the sample point in E, so number 246 ni adalah sample point, uh, is represented by the point inside the circle. Okay, because A is a subset of S, subset tu maksudnya A tu berada dalam this sample space. The circular region cannot extend outside the rectangle. So, the sample space bila kita toast a dice adalah... 6, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 Ok, let A is the event to get even number So, kita letak dia dalam bracket Untuk write dia punya sample space for A Is 2, 4, 6 Ok, now you want to find the probability of an event And apply the basic laws of probability Ok, so the probability of an event A So, P A is the number outcomes of an event A divided by the number of outcomes in sample space. So, tu dalam ayat. So, dalam formulanya maksudnya kita akan ada uh, number of event A, this one divided by the total number of outcomes in a sample space. Okay, basic loss of probability. So, A, the probability of an event is always between 0 and 1. Okay. So, means that kalau awak buat calculation, katakan you dapat negative 0 0.1. Ataupun you dapat 1.5. So, yang tu berada di luar daripada range 0 and 1. So, maksudnya dia bukan probability. Ataupun jalan kerja awak salah lah. Okay. So, B, Certain event is an event that is sure to occur has a probability of 1. So, maksudnya probability of A is 1 ataupun senang cerita kita kata 100% will happen. Ha, confirm jadi ya. Ha, itulah ayat yang kita selalu kata. So, tu maksudnya certain event. Okay, so impossible event is event that cannot possibly occur so has probability of zero maksudnya uh, dia memang tak ada kebarang kalian pun akan jadi dia tak ada chance pun untuk berlaku so kebarang kalian dia adalah kosong so tu kita namakan impossible event ok next if A prime is the complementary event so, nak cari probability of A prime, kita akan ambil 1, which is the total probability, minus probability of A. So, P A prime ataupun kita boleh tulis dia sebagai P A bar, benda yang sama, means the probability of A doesn't happen. So, kita tengok sikit probability scale. So, we know that probability is between 0 and 1. So, 0 tu impossible event. And hujung ni adalah certain that is confirm will happen. Okay, dekat tengah-tengah tu adalah the even chance. Maksudnya dia 50-50. Kalau misal kita duduk sebut tu, uh, tak tahu lagi 50-50. So, tu adalah even chance. Okay, kalau perkataan unlikely, bermaksudnya dia dia lebih ke arah mendekati impossible. Maksudnya dia punya probability sikit. So, kalau kita roll a dice, so probability untuk dapat nilai satu, adalah 1 daripada 6 ok 
Okay so dia di antara nilai kosong dan juga kosong poin lima Okay likely pula adalah Dia kebarangkalian dia lebih berat kepada akan jadi Okay So dekat situ dia bagi kita 5 marbles So to get green marbles Dia ada 4 in 5 chance Okay kita look at the complementary events The complement of event A Denoted by A prime Is the event that includes All the outcomes for an experiment That are not in A Okay, A prime is not in A. So, this is our Venn diagram. S2 represent our sample space. Okay, A ni adalah subset. Event A adalah subset kepada S. Jadi, A prime tu adalah selain daripada A. So, dia berada di luar circle. For example, right, example yang sama bila kita baring dadu. Okay, sample space dia adalah 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And let A is the event to get even number. So A ni yang dalam circle ni event A. So kita ada 2, 4, 6. Jadi A prime adalah yang di luar circle. Which is 1, 3 and 5. Okay that's all for this video. Okay continue for the next video. Thank you for watching.